and we are in the kitchen after that victory. I'm being a little bit hungry, and I definitely think we have something so good to make. In fact, I've never had this before, but I brought in somebody that knows a thing or two when it comes to cooking up good things in the kitchen. Now, his name, of course, is Nicholas Fraser, and we're going to get into something absolutely delicious. This one is called a butter chicken pasta. Welcome, Nicholas. Hello. Straight from the social media streets yes. to Espresso. We love to see you doing good this morning. Are you awake? I'm great. How are you? I'm so good, man. Yes, okay, this is a very interesting recipe. It smells absolutely delicious in studio. Um, <laughs> butter chicken pasta. Where did the inspiration for this come from? Well, I grew up eating curries. Ah. And I'm originally from Durban, so... The first time I had butter chicken was actually in Cape Town and yeah. I fell in love with it like crazy. And I love pasta, so I thought, let me just try and mix the two. Absolutely. And, and did amazing. it work the first time? You said, why haven't we done this sooner? It did work the first time. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Okay, you please take centre stage and I want to see this all in action. Awesome. I've never actually made a butter chicken before. I assume butter and chicken's involved. Yes, definitely. Yes. <laughs> so you're going to start off with your chicken breasts. I've got some diced chicken breasts here. Beautiful. Then we're going to add in some cumin powder. So we add that to the chicken. We're going to add in some turmeric. Then I've also got some garam masala here that goes oh. in. Then we go in with some curry powder or chili powder. And then finally, we're going to add in some coriander powder as well. Oh, delicious. Then double cream yogurt. This is going to help to tenderize your chicken. So you add that into your bowl. Okay, so this is the marinade before it yes, even goes yes, in the yes. pot. So this is for the marinade, just to add some flavor to your chicken mm. before you add it into the pot. And how does the yogurt help? Oh, you so said it tenderizes. this tenderizes the chicken, yes. So it helps, because you know chicken breast can be a bit tough at times, yes. so the yogurt helps to tenderize your chicken. Wow. So you I mean, just give that a mix. Already smelling so good. Add in. Yes. Thank you so much. So you grew up in Durban yes, and then came to yes. Cape Town. So the battle of the curries is still here today. <laughs> As somebody from Cape Town, yes. um, I love myself a Cape Malay curry. Do you okay. know what I'm saying? So we yes, make it different yes, yes. over here. We do, we do, so we do. So which one do you prefer, please? I'm definitely going to have to side with Durban. Oh, <laughs> That's what I'm man, sorry. it's okay. It's I'm okay. sorry. I mean, we've got the spices, mm -hmm. so I actually get my spices from Durban even now, even though I'm in Cape Town. Wow, so that's but, the plug. Yes, okay. yes. But I kind of found a way where I managed to bring the two together. Mm -hmm. So, best of both worlds. Okay, but you like the spice, like the actual heat yes, yes, from the Durban. Yes, yes, I grew up eating... And then maybe the flavour from Cape Town. Yes. Okay, sorry, you're saying you grew up I probably up eating? grew up eating curry like three to four times a week. <laughs> my mother made curry all the time, oh so for me, I was always making curry. Breakfast, so now you had can... curry? Lunch, you had curry? Dinner, all the time. Curry. Even when I'm taking a lunch to school on bread, my mother put curry on the <laughs> <night>. <laughs> I love this for you. All right, let's go in cool. with the goodness. So... There's your olive oil. So we can actually use some butter to put this in. Beautiful. So let's just break that. Allow and it sizzle melt. it up. So the idea is that we cook the chicken down first a little bit and then we keep on building flavor, right? Yes, yes, okay. correct. So you could also put this into the air fryer mm -hmm. um, or you can fry it onto the st on the stove. Okay, um, nice. Air fryer will be quicker yeah. and it also retains the flavor much better. But if you don't have an air fryer, you can use this. So. so you can use an air fryer. My millennial yes. heart is so happy that you said that because <laughs> the less time <laughs> I spend in the kitchen is probably better. Yes. Um, so you can chuck this in the air fryer as is. And while this is in the air fryer, you can already start building your butter chicken. So at the same time, it's going to be ready. Now with this process, you fry this first and then you have to take that out and then you start your, your rest of your process. Beautiful. Well, speaking of, let's get frying. Throw that in there. And the rest of the, the ingredients are looking so good. Yeah, I'm seeing we've got onion, garlic, ginger, all good things that make a good curry. Yes. Tomato paste, and of course, what is it without the chili? Chili is very important. <laughs> Nick is gonna burn our socks <laughs> up here. Uh, some yogurt, and of course, a dania. All right, so we so just we're need get that to that fry. Away. Let's see if we can turn that yes. up a little bit for you. There, there we go. go. Perfect. And then this is also really good if you've got leftover pasta, um, pasta Perfect, right? even if it comes from the freezer, defrosted nice. and you're ready to go. 
I mean, this also works perfectly if you made butter chicken the night before, you've got leftover butter chicken mm. and you want to change it up. So say last night you had with your butter chicken with roti or rice. Mm. Today you want to change it up because there's leftovers. Take out your frozen pasta, add it to your butter chicken. You've got a completely different dish. You're plugging me here. I never yes. knew you could freeze pasta. Yes, I love this. Because sometimes <laughs> you never know the portions, right? You put yes. it in the pot, you say, I'm going to eat all of this. And then it turns out to be this much. Exactly. Okay, so you can freeze it some of it. Can we quickly talk about your journey on social media? Yes, yeah, sure. And thank you for sharing with us when it comes to cooking when it comes to home cooking especially because a, a lot of us need the help um what was that motivation for you to even take your cooking onto social, social media so i always loved cooking from a very young age um and i was actually quite nervous to put myself out there on socials like you know social media how it is mm, sometimes scary. and um so my friends actually started convincing me like you know what you can cook, why don't you put yourself out there on social media? Yeah. That's where I learned about TikTok. I actually didn't know much about TikTok before yeah, I then. Um, I had Instagram, but I didn't really post my food content on Instagram. But once I started posting to TikTok, that's when my socials TikTok. actually started blowing, wow. blowing up like crazy. Like TikTok is such a good platform mm. if you want to put yourself out there, if you want to help others. And I think it's really about helping others, that's what you're actually doing on TikTok. Right. You're putting yourself out there, you're also educating others, and that's what draws people in, and that's what draws people in to follow you as well. And you know what it is that, because you're adding value to their yes, lives. Yes. You're not just saying funny videos, which we love, we yeah, love those. We love the funny but videos. But you can actually save this and say, I'm gonna try this butter chicken pasta exactly. later for dinner. Exactly. All right, very quickly, Let's once that see. cooks, how do we put this together? Also in the pan? Yes, so, okay. so we're gonna use exactly the same pan that we fried the chicken in. Yes. We're gonna take the chicken out once it's done mm -hmm. and what this does it retains the flavor so all the chicken the, all the flavor mm -hmm. from the chicken that's left in the pot we want to keep that flavor yeah. then we just continue building adding in our onions yeah. ginger and garlic the rest of our spices tomato paste goes in then we're going to blend it a bit add in our yogurt and then back with our chicken and our pasta Did and you say blend it Yes. Okay. There's a blender. So, we so you blend the ingredients. That's what makes it you, so smooth. Yes, and creamy. yes. Look, it's an optional step. You don't really have to blend it. Okay. If you want a bit of chunky pieces in there, like mm. sometimes I don't bl blend it all the time. Like if mm. I'm rushing home from work, right, I ain't got right. time to still be blending, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. That's, okay, that's beautiful. Add the pasta in, and there you have it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, a delicious butter chicken pasta. Thank you so much, Nicholas. Um, of course, this is available on expressoshow.com. But I can't stand you alone and enjoy and smell and, and really have Nicholas's company because, Carl, also, you're missing out. Let me tell you that much. Can you smell it? You I must let the it. smell Sorry, leave I'd you in. Sorry, I have to walk in here. I know I appeared out of nowhere, but that's what I do. <laughs> I was hiding in the cupboard. Uh, yeah, yeah. You do such great work on, on the socials, man. You just, you so I can much. almost smell your food through my phone <laughs> when I see your videos, which is great. Um, but this is such... You know what? I do love the fact that we can blend pasta and like uh, the proper traditional curries yes, as well. Yes, yes. Uh, because I've experimented with butter chicken lasagna before. <gasps> oh, And I will this? highly recommend. I actually have How one on that? my page as well, butter Yo. chicken lasagna. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's the best. You're changing my life it's right the now. the best vibe it in is. the entire world. The it's almost as delicious as the stuff we have coming up Please on your Feel Good more. Breakfast show. Uh, let me tell you straight up. Now, first and foremost, if you want to get some entertainment, you've got Leah Butler. Uh, Imi Mangaliso is uh, a track that you're going to need to hear. That's going to be fantastic. So we got that talent coming through very, very soon. And if you want more, do you want more? I want so much more. Now, you know that games, Black Friday deals, you know, they launched them around Black Friday. Uh. Now, the thing is, uh, what I've done is that I've mailed game and I said, do you mind giving us a heads up on some of the deals? And they said, uh, we'll think about it, Wasty. But I said, I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on national TV. And they said, OK, it's fine. So that means that I can give you a little leg up on some of the Black Friday deals that you cannot miss way before Black Friday. So make sure you stay there. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show filled with amazing, nutritious, delicious meals, mm -hmm. curry and pasta and deals. It's amazing. I know. I